this is something that is very well known with the smugglers. The area that we're at right now, this is the number one area in the entire country for illegal entries of drugs and of people coming into our country. Art Del Cueto drove the News 4 Tucson investigators on a bumpy dirt road through the Tohono O'odham Nation, 80 miles southwest of Tucson. Del Cueto was the president of the local Border Patrol Agents Union. So you got the area where they look like they brushed out even there. He wanted to show us this fence on the nation's land, which he says has many of his 3,300 union members outraged. How hard is it to, to, to go over a foot and a half beam? Most of us have steps that are higher. This isn't secure. There's no security there. Uh, you know, a three-year-old child can just come over that. Apparent evidence of foot travelers was nearby. Water bottles, a tarp, and other debris. Del Cueto thinks a 20-foot high fence like this one in Nogales should be erected on Tahana or Autumn land. But for decades, this sovereign nation has strongly opposed any barrier. Its chairman, Ned Norris, saying a wall would be built, quote, over my dead body. The nation's official website states the U.S.-Mexico border has become an artificial barrier to the freedom of the Tahana O'odham to traverse their lands, impairing their ability to collect foods and materials needed to sustain their culture and to visit family members and traditional sacred sites. Right now, I'm in the middle of the Tohono O'odham Nation. This steel beam is all that separates the countries of Mexico and the United States. And you can see why so many Border Patrol agents and the Union president are upset. The fence doesn't, isn't the end-all solution. You know, we build a 25-foot fence, they build a 26-foot ladder. Border Patrol agent and spokesman Jason Reinfrank says a fence is only one deterrent. Sometimes a fence works. <laughs> such as when a suspected smuggler's Jeep got stuck last October near Yuma. And sometimes it doesn't work. As when a smuggler used a carjack last year to open fence panels for his cohorts to walk through and into the U.S. We do have technology in place. We do have the sensors in the ground. Everyone knows that. Uh, we have cameras along the border. We have mobile surveillance systems. We have uh, camera trucks that are deployable anywhere. There are also more Border Patrol agents on foot and in vehicles. Their contingent has almost tripled since 9-11. There are now more than 4,100 agents in the Tucson sector. Homeland Security officials say the improvements explain why there's been a big drop in illegal immigrants trying to cross. The Border Patrol says in fiscal year 2000, more than 614,000 apprehensions were made by the Tucson sector. In fiscal year 2012, there were 102,000. There is no question that the border, from a security standpoint, is stronger than it's ever been. And there's the cost of building a fence. One agent estimates it costs $6 million a mile to put up a fence on flat land where there's already a road and much more on rough terrain. But Union President Del Cueto says money spent on tall fencing would be worth it. The truth of the matter is the border at this point is still not secure. Uh, they take uh, different people down there to the border and they give you uh, what we call the dog and pony show. So the fence isn't the end all solution for border security. It acts as a small part of the bigger picture. Uh, the bigger picture being better infrastructure, better technology. Speaking of better technology, the Border Patrol is now building five new remote video surveillance towers in Nogales to supplement the 11 towers already deployed there.